Yo, what's up, people? My name is Fernando, and welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day so far, man. Now, in today's video, we will be showcasing the most interesting and disturbing things in Grand Theft Auto 5. Now, I gotta go ahead and say that a couple of these things are gonna go ahead and uh, creep you out a bit. So, make sure that you guys know that before you watch today's video, because some of these things are quite disturbing. Before we go ahead and get things started up today, I thought I'd let you guys know about this like secret little YouTube feature that they recently updated over on YouTube. And not a lot of people actually know about this. So all you guys have to go ahead and do is hit that like button five times in a row and then you get the special feature enabled on your YouTube account. It's really weird and it'll just like literally pop up in your screen. And only one out of ten people will go ahead and get it enabled on their account. So make sure you guys do that and let me know down below in the comments what feature you got enabled. And as well, subscribe to the channel if you guys are brand new. I will hate it if you missed out any of my brand new videos. Make sure you guys check out all the channels of the people who did provide me the clips in today's video. They are all awesome people and you guys should go ahead and check them out. Link down below. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get things started up. Alrighty people, so we're going to begin all the way in Lester's warehouse. Now, if you guys ever wondered why exactly was this building abandoned before Lester actually used it for his little heist operation was the fact that somebody actually committed suicide in this building. Now, how the person actually died was the fact that the person actually fell towards the ground off the building and you can actually hear the woman who actually killed herself, her screams, her ghost screams, and she's actually some paranormal activity creature that actually roams around the building. You can actually hear her too interesting enough if you guys make your way all the way to the top of the building itself you get to see some blood patterns right here i'm not sure if this spawns in in certain times of the day but you guys can see that there's just going to be blood displaced here which i guess the victim was actually bleeding out and then they just committed suicide by falling off the building now if we make it towards the same exact spot where the woman has fell down and actually ended her life that's the same spot where you guys can hear her Now, have you guys ever wondered why exactly are there no children in Grand Theft Auto games whatsoever? Well, it's the simple fact that Rockstar knows its player base and they pretty much know that you guys will go ahead and annihilate the children. But if we go ahead and pay attention to the little easter eggs around the game itself, you guys can find a bunch of pictures of Michael's family when there were children in his house. Now, interesting enough about these pictures is you guys can see how the characters looked when they were much more younger. Here we have Michael's family and as well we also have some pictures of Franklin and his family when they were much younger more younger now just like i said earlier if you guys make your way all the way over towards michael's house and look around the household you can find some of these pictures scattered around but pay attention to this image exactly because this one will go ahead and give you guys a general idea where these people in this picture are right now another interesting picture that i went ahead and saw right here is this dog on this picture stand now why exactly does michael have a picture of a dog when he doesn't really have a dog in the story mode whatsoever well it's the fact that michael used to have a dog and the family that's right here in this picture they are the people who michael gave the dog to but where is the dog right now and as well as the family well later down the line when michael started getting into more illegal stuff and criminal acts with his career i guess later down the line he went ahead and donated his dog to his friends right in this picture now if we make our way towards the website known as acceptthechaos.com and you click on want to play god you get to see the same exact people from the image that michael has in his house right there and we also see them with children and the same dog that Michael had in his house so I guess this picture was taken in the future now if you guys go ahead and click on the button click to play God you get to see Michael's friends and his dog actually killed in a very graphic 
car crash. And this same incident right here is what contributed towards Michael's insanity into making him the character that he is now today. I guess the death of a close friend from Michael is what made him very very crazy and fucked up in the head. And also the reason why Rockstar is not allowed to put children in the game because they do stuff like uh, kill kids. If you guys go all the way towards the graveyard right here, eventually you're gonna see yourself a little terrier just walking on by. Just like the other animals you see just roaming around the streets of Los Santos, they're basically there just to make the world look more alive and for aesthetic reasons. But it looks like this dog serves a different purpose. Now if you guys go on ahead and just follow him towards his spot that he's going towards, he actually leads you towards a destination. If you guys keep going and going and going, eventually he's just gonna go ahead and stop by one of the tombstones. And it's kinda interesting because you're kind of asking yourself, hmm, what is this supposed to mean right here? Well, it looks like the dog is coming here to pay some respect for the lost owner that he used to have. So, it's kind of a sad event. You guys can see that the dog is just here sitting down, wagging his tail, and as well, we can see that there is a bouquet of flowers. Now, if we go ahead and try to read what's written on the tombstone, not much information is actually written on it. Right here, the only thing that we can actually see, it says, in loving memory, and that's it. That's pretty much it. No owner name, nothing. That's just pretty much it. So, if you guys make your way all the way towards the countryside of GTA 5, and make your way towards the Rebel radio station, which I'm pretty sure that you guys actually heard it on the radio itself, then you guys will find this big old radio tower, man. And it's interesting because if you guys come here at night, preferably at 2 o'clock in the morning and then you people can hear freaking Morse code playing. Now I went ahead and tried to do this in daytime or certain other hours in the game itself and it doesn't really actually activate it until you guys do call the blacklisted cell phone so it's about time for you guys to hear it for yourself. So we pretty much all know about the ghost that's all the way on top of the mountain on Mount Gordo and you guys probably seen this about a million times but just in case you guys want to know the background on this the woman right here is known as Lenora Johnson and there's actually a website where you guys can read about her background on this so to catch you guys up to speed Lenora Johnson was taken all the way to Mount Gordo with her husband and then she was unsuspectedly pushed off of it the person who actually did this was her husband herself jock cranley and then later on that same day he actually found her dead corpse on the ground and then took it away and he started hiding some of her body pieces around the map of grand theft auto it's very very creepy and disturbing now the interesting part about this is you can actually hear her screams and cries in the mountain that she was actually murdered in i'm pretty sure that you guys didn't know this but right here i'm gonna play some of the voices that you guys can as well hear so what you people want to go ahead and do is meet me at this exact time because this is the only time that this place actually spawns in the paranormal activity and then of course meet me all the way here on the map now what i strongly recommend for you people to do is put your sound all the way up for you guys can hear this because this is absolutely insane